Well, the total solar eclipse is 11 days away, but it's not the only reason to have your eyes on the skies. Throughout April, a so-called Devil Comet will also be visible. It's known as a Horned Comet and is officially named Comet 12P Pons Brooks. Its closest approach to the sun is anticipated for April 21st, and its closest approach to Earth will be on June 2nd. This thing is about 18 miles in diameter, which is three times the size of Mount Everest. It's expected to be one of the brightest comets of the year. And joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Carrie Holdley, an assistant professor at the University of Iowa's Physics and Astronomy Department. Carrie, thank you so much for being here with us. I want to start with when we'll have the best chance of seeing this comet. Yeah, so the best chance of seeing it before it actually is only really visible during the day is over the next five days. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're going to want to go out, look towards the western horizon um, with a pair of binoculars, um, preferably outside of city limits. And it'll be your best chance to see it until about April 2nd. Okay. I got to ask you, though, why does it have that nickname? The Devil's uh, Comet? Yes. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's not as ominous as it sounds. Um, it's because it has um, particularly interesting coma shape around it, where it looks almost like a horseshoe. Um, and the dusty ice in its coma, or the gas surrounding the, the nucleus of the comet, um, looks a little bit red as well. And so it almost gives it like this horn-like shape around it. I love it. I hope I'm saying this right. It's also chirovolcanic. Is that right? Cryovolcanic. <laughs> yes. I was close. <laughs> I mean, what does that mean? Cryovolcanism is this process we see with lots of icy bodies in the solar system. Um, comets, not so much. So this is very unique for this particular comet. Um, it means that when it approaches the sun, the solar radiation opens fissures in its surface. And high pressure ices, icy magma under its surface, are erupted out into space from it. So it has these bursts of ice and dust that um, that contribute to its coma and it makes it uh, like a bigger coma and it therefore makes it brighter in time. And so when it, it's cryovolcanic, it'll burst, erupt this material and become brighter. And we've seen this happen a handful of times since last year. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to ask the obvious question. Does this pose any threat to us here on Earth? Luckily, no. So it's the very closest approach to us in June. Um, it's only going to get about one and a half times the distance between us and the sun. And so it's still going to be very far away from the Earth. Okay. And then I know you said when it'll be visible during the daytime, but what about during the solar eclipse? Will you be able to see it? That is still up for debate. So here in Iowa, unfortunately, because we are not going to be in the path of totality, it likely will not be bright enough or dark enough for us to be able to see it. But if you happen to be in the path of totality, and if this comet happens to have another outburst sometime soon, it could be possible to see it during the eclipse. Um, but otherwise, probably it's probably still too faint. Hmm. I was really curious when we talk about its closest time that it's going to be by the sun versus when it's going to be closest to the earth. Is it going to be more visible when it's closer to the sun or to the earth? Um, so there's a trade off here because as it gets closer to the sun, it's going to be during the daytime for us. So when the sun is out and it's closer to the sun, right? But it also brightens as it gets closer to the sun because the solar uh, light, the light from the sun actually uh, you know, impacts the the surface and brightens the coma and makes it a lot more dramatic and bright. And so, but also the sun is very, very, very bright. And so it's going to outshine this comet. So our, our better chance actually is as it's either approaching the sun like now or as it's receding away from the sun, like in June when it's going to be closer to the earth. I love it so much. Carrie, I could sit and talk to you about this all day long, but I better let you go. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day for us. Thanks for having me. <laughs>